Hi, welcome back. My name's Katrina. So today I'm going to be showing you a couple of items I have bought from QVC recently. Now, I am nearly out of my Lara Geller Balance and Brighton Foundation and I absolutely love that foundation. So I popped on to QVC to have a look and the foundation on its own is £25, but there was a set there for 50 and there was four items in the set. And I love I love uh, QVC in the one sense that I can get um, easy payments because a while ago I think I was doing an order and before that I would have normally paid for everything up front because I'm, I'm used to it at this stage because in Ireland there's no clarinet, there's no easy pay, there's no after pay, there's no clear pay. There's not even um, PayPal credit. And considering a headquarters for PayPal is in Dublin, it's just ridiculous. So I chanced me out and I ticked the box for easy payments. And to my surprise, it went through. So there was three easy payments for this uh set and for the other set I bought so I went ahead and ordered but the only thing I don't like about uh, QVC in a way is that I know you get second price half second item half price postage but they send them separately so I end up paying for two lots of address pal which is another six euros and fifty and six so that's another 13 euros I pay but what can you do it is what it is the four set comes in this nice little bag. I suppose it's more like an envelope, isn't it? I suppose you could reuse it because it's plastic on the inside. Now, the foundation alone, I was nearly out of the Balance and Brighton foundation and that foundation was £25 and the set was 50 so it was a no-brainer. So this one is actually the Balance and Glow Foundation. This is the Illuminating Foundation and it's full size at 8 grams and I got the shade medium. And as anybody that has watched my channel for, for a while knows, I absolutely love a dewy glowy finish. Um, I'm not a fan of matte foundation anymore. So there you go. I, any matte foundations I have, if I'm trying to use them up, I will put an illuminating primer in, in with it as well. Um, my favourite one is the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. Believe me and you, that's the only Charlotte Tilbury item I have. And I spared it out. Because <laughs> I am got £40 to get it again. Well, I don't know whether I'd pay £40. I mean, I'm sure there's a... Is perfectly perfectly good dupes for Charlotte Tilbury as far as I can see. Um, I got to watch another YouTuber one day. I can't remember who it was, and she was saying the number seven, uh, perfecting powder is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury powder. So that's what thirteen pound Charlotte Tilbury's is over forty. I mean, if it works the same, I don't see what the difference is. So then I've never tried a bronzer and this I had a bronzer and this is a baked Mediterranean bronzer in the shade Moroccan bronze. And this, now the foundation was eight grams. This is a whopping 10 grams. Isn't that lovely? Seems almost a shame to use it because look at the design on it. It's fabulous and a lovely little mirror with it. And of course, got a little brush. Um, is a retractable powder brush and believe me you can never have too many uh, brushes look at that that's lovely and soft i wouldn't use that now for the powder foundation i would use that for the bronzer i think yeah that'd be nice for the bronzer and then we have um a lip hugging lip gloss and this is in the shade nude kisses isn't that a lovely shade now i have a lip gloss a lovely one it's like um the really sparkly one my friend um lynn sent me and i absolutely love that so that's the four item for that set now the other set came that came in a box the other set came in a, an, an envelope a padded envelope 
which I wasn't too happy about because I know it was in a padded envelope, but if it came in a box, it would have had ex extra protection. So it's a little set. And it's basically for £20, we got two blushes and another brush. And this is the same brush, except it's in a box. It is the powder brush. Yeah, it says for any of that powder product, so that um, blush or, um, you know, bronzer. So I've never tried a blush either. So this is the Baked Blush in Brighton in Berry Trifle. Now I have a Flormar. Flormar is a Turkish brand that's sold in Ireland. And it's, I think it's sold in the UK as well in, in Primark. And would you believe the packaging is the exact same as this? And I think I paid nine euros for that foundation or for the blush. Now look at that, isn't that fabulous? That's gorgeous. It's not, it's not a very bright blush. And the next one we have is in Dreamsicle. Now these are only four and a half grams each. That's very, very subtle, isn't it? But I suppose you could build it up. Isn't that lovely though? So now I think I literally could do a full face of Laura Geller. I have the mascara, I have eyeshadows, I have the bronzer, the blushers. Right, so listen, thanks very much for watching. I'm trying not to yawn again. It's coming a habit, isn't it? So listen, thanks very much and stay safe and take care.